Hello, and welcome to Wormwood Institute News Network. Back at it with the latest here at our esteemed campus. Once again, as always, let's take a moment to recite the word of Wormwood. Every time I say those glorious words, I feel life return to my body. I couldn't agree more. <laughs> <laughs> now, it's time to announce the winner of the Student Council President election. Here are the names of the two candidates. My co-host here will pick out a name, and that name will be the winner for the Student Council President election. The winner is... Oh, boy. The host! <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. It was never a competition in the first place. I always had faith in you. Hey, all for one, am I right? But this isn't just a win for me. This is also a win for all of you. So please, give yourselves a round of applause. I have big big changes as student council president. The president will be selecting the vice president, secretary, and treasury at a later date, so be sure to look forward to that. Now, let's talk about drugs. Are you or someone you know spiraling, turning to harmful substances to escape their problems, perhaps relying on them to feel normal? Drug addiction is a serious topic that all students and faculty should be educating themselves and their peers on. Talk to your counselor or call 1-800-314-1592 for help. And remember, you are not in this alone. Instead of a needle, eat a gummy worm. All the cool kids are doing it. Drugs are a dangerous and volatile substance and have the potential to destroy your life. Please do not make a mistake that you cannot take back. Yeah. We have an update um, regarding the situation surrounding Helena Ives. We're happy to report that Helena has returned to us safe and sound, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about whatsoever. At this time, we cannot provide any more information regarding her disappearance, as this is still an ongoing investigation. We ask that you please refrain from talking to Helena about such a harrowing experience. Next, the homecoming dance is coming up. Hey, what you doing tonight? Probably studying for an exam. In... Well, I'm going to the homecoming dance at the Main East Hall at 1900 hours. Oh, okay. There's going to be food, drinks, games, and most importantly, dancing. That's <laughs> cool, I guess. Tickets are sold for 20 U.S. dollars, and, and a GPA of 3.5 is required. And don't forget, always keep a student handbook between you at all times. Now, for the moment you've all been waiting for. The principal themselves is phoning in. Hello, principal. Uh, are you able to hear us? So, principal. Wow, thanks for phoning in. Our principal is a very busy man. We should be so grateful that he has graced us with his presence. Indeed. Now, for Keenan with the weather. Thanks, guys. Next week is looking pretty stormy, with heavy rainfall every day except Thursday, which means we see a tornado headed our way, so make sure to seek shelter. Let's check in with our on-site correspondent and my personal twin, Thompson, to see how things are looking. Thompson? Thanks, Keenan. Um, it's a beautiful day out. No rain or tornadoes in sight. If any students have any free time, I would highly suggest taking advantage of this weather. Back to you, Keenan. Thanks, Thompson. Guys, keep an umbrella in your backpack 
and I would suggest investing in ponchos. This has been Weather with Keenan. Thanks, Keenan. Thanks, Thompson. Do you know what time it is? It looks like it's time for the quote of the day. Well, that about wraps up this week's episode of Wormwood Institute News Network. Thanks, everybody. And remember, keep, keep on, on winning. winning.